Hi, today we discuss uh, how to create an instance in uh, Google Cloud. So, first we uh, open the Google account, uh, Cloud account. So, go to three lines and uh, go to Computer Engineering, Computer Engineering and VM Instance. So uh, after VM instance, uh, we will go to the create instance. Uh, you can choose the name according to your requirement. I will choose US for, and also you cannot write the uh, uppercase letter so you have to write the lowercase letter or any digit no sim uh, symbol and no hyphens so uh, after uh, creating the name uh, we will go to the regions uh, or you will you can select uh, regions according to your requirements uh, i want uh, us server so i will choose uh, one of these in the from the us server so let's uh, start with the I will uh, uh, choose uh, Oregon and you can also choose the uh, uh, time zone uh, it's uh, depend on you uh, I will not uh, choose any uh, this is a I will choose the uh, so uh, after that uh, you will choose the uh, CPU and uh, RAM uh, where you can see uh, the CPU and uh, you can also choose the customs uh, but I will choose uh, the selected uh, CPM and also uh, CPU and RAM and you can also choose one of these uh, options according to your requirements so I will choose uh, this because uh, I have uh, not uh, this is uh, in, enough uh, for me uh, and then we will go uh, and uh, change the boot disk so go to the Windows server and uh, then you will choose Windows server 2002 descending core after this we will uh, select the SSD we, because it is more performance than local disk sorry uh, this uh, this not descending core only descend this descender 2010 descender uh, after this uh, you can ch uh, change the disk size in ssd size uh, we will select the 50 gb after selecting this we will go to the check box here and you can see the price of your uh, 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 if you want uh, higher cpu or higher uh, RAM uh, the price will go higher uh, so this is enough for me I will go to create So you can see uh, our uh, uh, VM instance has been created. Uh, uh, we will go to RPD and download the file. You can also connect uh, this RP, uh, DRP, uh, RDP by this external IP. So, but I will. Use, you can also use this uh, file uh, to connect the RDP. So we will go to the set password, log in this RDB.
so here you go you can see the password and you can also save this password to login next time so open this file Sometimes it gives an error because it gives it takes a five to ten minute to complete the running. You can see there is an error. So I will go to the file and reopen. So you can see it asks him password. I will add the password and click the OK. I will choose this option because uh, I do not want uh, it ask me again. So click on the yes button. It's a uh, locking my computer, RDP computer. So as you can see uh, our uh, RDP server has ready. So you can use uh, this uh, browser uh, uh, if you want uh, any other browser like Firefox and Chrome you can install here and uh, enjoy the RDP. I hope you like this video uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, learn any something uh, please uh, so, uh, press the bell icon for future updates and thank you